If you're brand new to Kubernetes, or if you've been using it for a while, then you've probably come across the concept of ingress controllers. Picking an ingress controller is an important part of the journey, and there are a bunch of options out there. So today we're gonna take a quick look at three of them. Nginx, Traffic, and HAProxy. The question you probably have is, which one should I pick? Well, I'll give you a spoiler. It depends on your use case and which features you need. So let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look at the three different ingress controllers. We're gonna start out with Nginx. Nginx is what I started using when I got into Kubernetes. Nginx ingress controller at a high level. Here's a diagram. You can he head over to their documentation to check this out. Some of the benefits of Nginx is it's fast. There's lots of coverage for users who are used to it. So if someone's been using Nginx for virtual machines, or they've used it previously, they can kind of understand the configuration pretty easily. There's lots of documentation around it. It has been out for a while. There is a version of it that is supported by the Kubernetes project. So it'll be very helpful to get in, get used to using it, ask questions. Like there's a lot of documentation around it compared to some of the other ingress controllers. So like I said, it's documented well across other projects. So other projects that you install, such as like vCluster, uh, have documented how to use an Nginx ingress controller for your ingress controller when you're when you're setting up different things. One of the standards for people that are getting started because it's it's used across so many different projects. Next up, we're gonna look at traffic. So traffic, one of the biggest selling points of traffic for me when, when I was messing around with it is it has a UI. So if we check out the UI real quick, there's a user interface. If you're used to having a UI for setting up these kind of things, then you may wanna look at traffic as an option. There is a free version that you can use. You can install the dashboard, you can get everything working. So here's a overview of traffic. So traffic may have more features that you're, that you're interested in beyond what Nginx has. There may be some trade-offs that you're looking at for using traffic instead. It is born in the cloud, as they say. So this was specifically designed for cloud native applications, whereas Nginx is kind of using a configuration file that you would see normally on a virtual machine or different infrastructure. And then let's check it, check out HAProxy. So if you look at some of the benchmark tests, HAProxy comes out ahead in a lot of different things. So it's fast, some overlap coming from other infrastructure if you're used to using HAProxy. So maybe you know how to configure it and you've got a lot of background on how to use it. So it performs very well under load testing. It's very fast and it's very performant if, if you're looking for something like that. Now, something to think about when you're picking one of these, there there's a lot of things that overlap that you can use that are similar. There are many things that they add in that are features that are different. And then there are some things that just aren't included in some of the features at all. Now, without showing you a complete graph of what what's included and what's not in each one, what you're gonna wanna do is maybe test out each one, see what performance you want, go look at some of the benchmark tests or what you can do is see what your group is interested in using. So if your group is used to configuring Nginx, then they may be able to troubleshoot it a little bit easier. If they haven't used any of these before, maybe go into traffic so that you've got a UI for everything. If you're just worried about speed and performance instead of thinking about like what one may be supported better in the community, look at HAProxy, right? Like if you're used to using that in the past, it may be something that you wanna use again in the future. And then if you're gonna be using these on production workloads and you eventually want to buy support, or you want to pay for something, you should look at what features are offered in the paid version to see if those are relevant to you. All of these have great feature sets in the community version, but you may be looking at some of those advanced features that you need in the paid version. So that's something to think about when you're picking this. But really at the end of the day, they're all so similar that it depends on what your use case is, what your users are comfortable with using, and which one you can get support for the easiest, right? Like if you can get easier support for Nginx in the community or everything that you're working on or trying to install, is documented in Nginx, then you're probably gonna have an easier time getting started. And then maybe in the future, if you if you realize these other feature sets that you need, you can go back and you can reassess and figure out which one you want. Now, some of the cool things about these uh, ingress controllers and the community support and them being open source is that new features are added all the time. So say you haven't used Nginx in a very long time. Maybe you switched over and you just started using traffic. Well, maybe there's some new features that have been added recently, right? Like Kubernetes has added base features to make things easier, like being able to use annotations to get certificates and stuff like that. So maybe it's time to reassess, take a look at what you're using currently, and then go check out some of the benchmarks and see which one comes ahead. And maybe it's time to try HA proxy. Maybe it's time to try one of the different ones. At the end of the day, you're probably just going to use what your team is most comfortable with using and your users. You may switch if you need other features after you've hit the limitations of the one that you're currently using. But more than likely, you're probably either going to start with Nginx and stay with Nginx, maybe start with traffic and stay with traffic, or even start with HAProxy and stay there. But keep in mind, these projects are always moving and changing, and there may be features that get added to the open source version that you're interested in using. So when it's time to reassess, go check out each one, see what new features have been added, maybe see what your use cases are. If you've matured in your usage and you're looking for something that is beyond HTTP, 
and you're looking at UDP or TCP or something like that, maybe one of these has got an easier configuration for you. But that's something to think about. And thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or if you want to see some of our documentation cover different ingress controllers that we're not talking about here, let us know. Join our Slack, uh, join the community and reach out to us in the vCluster channel or reach out to me in Peterson on our Lofts community Slack. I hope you got something useful out of this and look for future videos to see how we set up traffic with vCluster and HA proxy with vCluster. Right now we've got a video for Nginx. And if you're interested in taking the next step in setting up vCluster with Nginx, check out the video in the description.